Wuthering Waves drama. There is a huge problem with Wuthering Waves content creators. It's only three minutes. I'm going to try my best to make this a very important topic because I think it is an, an important topic and I kind of have an idea on what it's going to be about. Wuthering Waves is not out yet, but drama has already started. Let me okay well so the drama i'm not a drama creator bro like i like watching drama and if it's a topic i'll talk about it right but i don't like being involved in it you know what i'm saying i'm just like talking about it discussing do goods and bads like what do you guys think i like to engage with the community that's what i'm doing discussion stuff you know what i'm saying let me elaborate obviously the genshin 4.4 incident did not teach us anything well, I mean, it did teach us something. It taught us that every patch is dry. <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. ...are going ballistic, jumping on the hype train for a weathering waves. They are, yeah. Could Hoyo contracts for Zenless Zone Zero be the reason why we see a lot of content creators pivoting to Core's new game? Yeah, actually, that is uh, really insane. Yes. That I don't know. What I do know, though, is that content creators are producing so fast and so much mm -hmm. content for weathering waves and all of it is not even accurate bro this channel's content pretty spot on because they've actually played the game no hate towards anybody i know what you're trying to do i know you're trying to hype up the game trying to get some views you know some subs i get it but at least 80 percent of you probably have not even played the game or even the cbt i'm just i'm just gonna throw it out there i'm not calling no one out but i'm gonna keep watching this <laughs> that regardless of being misleading or not well researched or not exactly they don't even do their due diligence yes and also all the pieces of information that we have now as i'm recording this and posting this all of it is gonna change on release i've said this before in another video i've learned my lesson i'm not gonna go do a thousand guys on every character and then on global there's like one percent change from that i'm not gonna go through all that effort man it's just it's degrading it's horrible it makes you feel so bad because i put so much effort into cbt1 guides that when CBT2 rolled around, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I just want to enjoy the game. You know, I'm, I'm just going to do discussion topics. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to chill. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that they use footage they don't own mm -hmm. and they forget yeah. to create the channel. To yeah. The from. Well, right now it's a big problem. It's not going to be a big problem when the game is released. I, I feel like I've been doing it for the past couple months, you know, reacting to people's content. And yeah, bro, like low key, like you should be crediting the people, whoever's footage you are using, give them full credit, bro. Like it's not even that hard to do. You just like, you just subscribe to the channel, you just at them and then you just link the original video. It's like the most simplest thing to do. Honestly, those people will appreciate that a lot and it will show that, you know, you actually care. So, and it might even help them grow as well and it'll probably help you grow as well. So like, it's honestly a win-win. If it's an actual situation where like, someone just doesn't want you to do it, then just take down the video and just say, hey, I'll stop. I won't interact with you and cool. You know, like I would rather just discuss in private instead of making anything public when it comes to that. But dude, giving credit where credit is due i 100 percent back this statement because these people work hard to make these videos right like i'm just reacting to it so said so when creating content like this you always make sure to credit the creator in the video state their name and showcase the aesthetic of their entire channel even if it's just background footage right some type of credit has to be shown in respect to the original creator but this is just flat out wrong cocky and extremely rude the fact that somebody would retaliate and say i will credit but let me say this first of all i didn't one to one re-upload it was used as background which technically counts as transformative content dude it doesn't matter bro that's, that's not your footage like you didn't actually record it yourself so like yeah you should give the credit to the person of the footage that recorded that second of all the video has like 0.1 percent of views you have on your channel on the said video that is like that i was like no way bro like you're 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 honestly just so full of yourself uh, the clips are not even used in the in their entirety also don't worry i won't be needing to get anyone's video uh once the game comes out i'm glad bro because honestly you should be trying to figure things out on your own and not be a scumbag so i responded in the in the tweet i said really sorry to hear you're going through this naru credit should always be shown either as a shout out or verbally or at least tagging the creator of the original video and linking the original video it's not even that hard to do when people avoid this ta simple task it's so obvious that they're literally stealing content until they get confronted and get defensive about it it's true because if you get confronted about something like that it's because you're getting defensive or you did something wrong people need to understand there's a ton of hard work put into the videos and the original creator deserves all the credit yes so let's continue on the audacity is staggering it is yeah my only response I agree. to this outrageous behavior 
is that when you use someone else's content, yes. you have a responsibility to give credit, even if you consider it transformative. Yes, I agree it's with a that. basic principle of respect and fairness in yeah. the community. Everything about this is wrong because they get all the eyeballs and capitalize on that True. while other content creators, usually small ones like ourselves, mm -hmm. remain in the shadows and don't get the chance even to be recognized for their efforts. Mm -hmm. 100 percent like punching down and the game is not even out yet i agree all the work playing through i think it's gonna get i hope it doesn't get worse because i mean i've always been the type of person that whenever i try to make a transformative video and i'm watching someone's content i always try my very best to credit the person but i guess there's just some people that really do not care and i am not about that bro like i'm doing my part showing my utmost gratitude and being very sincere and trying my best to like make the video interesting and definitely trying to shout out the person for the, you know, the good work, you know? So like, yeah. The CBT2, exploring the open world so we have enough currency to summon and showcase early on the characters mm -hmm. so you have proper footage to show on your video. Yes, exactly. The least you could do is give proper credit to the creator or channel you took the footage from. Yeah, Imagine exactly. Imagine watching the biggest content creator in this space reacting to a video yeah. that was not ours and seeing our footage being- I used. would be pretty mad. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'll be pretty mad. I'll be pretty, I'll be pretty pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, wow. Like I could have gotten, the thing is, is that most likely you would get some type of growth from it. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. Like that will help your channel. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like when you do this type of content where you're transforming it, it's a win-win. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, you do the right thing as the reactor or discussion person, whatever you want to call it. If you're doing the right thing, then there should be no issues, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to cover your tracks, right? Give the credit where it's due and it's a win-win. You showcase a cool channel, you got entertained, everyone was happy, everybody wanted to discuss, everyone wins, you know what I'm saying? It's really not that hard, bro, it's not. In that video, what a slap in the face it was. And while Tectone did give credit to their video, uh -huh. we never received one from theirs. Yeah. And that was just one incident. Yeah, that's crazy. We've had another content creator use their footage without giving us credit, and they oh, also gain God. popularity from the exposure. That sucks, it's man. Incredibly that's incredibly frustrating and disheartening because that's that's why now I think I I spoke to Norushio about this, but I think honestly these types of creators that are making the these like gameplay footage pieces of content, like you gotta kind of like watermark your stuff. If you notice like really big gameplay like showcasers like if you look at those big youtubers they all watermark their stuff in a way where like even if you zoom in on the footage um it's really hard to take it because it makes the footage look uglier as you zoom in so i know that the watermark looks not as appealing but it's just good for your safety if you're doing this type of content right so it's just so um it, it would just make it harder for someone to steal your content, right? That's the only, that's probably the best advice I have for that. Honestly, I can't think of anything else. I really can't. We're ignored. So our last resort was to file a copyright claim. Yeah. YouTube sent to both of them a copyright strike and only after the fact they reached out apologizing. That's wild. So now you reach out after getting the copyright claim, be like, please, please don't take off the copy. Bro, like, that's your fault, bro. You deserve the coffee, right? I'm sorry, dude. Like, it's not that hard, bro. What are you doing, dude? Like, this is Wuthering Ways, bro. This is a new community. Like, this should not even be happening. This should be already, this should just be a positive environment already for Wuthering Ways. It's a new game, new content creators on the rise. Like, dude, it's all like, you're making connections with people. Like, you're creating relationships. Like, that's, this, this guy's all wrong. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think there's going to be any success from you stealing someone's uh, footage or stealing their content. And, and if you're not giving credit, bro, you're just, you're just horrible, man. This is wrong. Asking us to lift our claim. And let me tell you what, of course, we will lift the copyright claim. I mean, you should, you I would, I would probably do the same thing. Your due diligence this yeah. time and credit us. Yeah, hundred percent. All the other content creators from which you took the footage. We understand that it is a dog getting dog world, yeah. but you can still grow without stepping on others. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I was saying earlier. It's a win-win. Like, dude, just credit them, bro. It's it's literally like, it's not hard, bro. And people will appreciate that, bro. They will. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell people. They will appreciate it. 
any issues with other creators. Yeah. We all have different things to offer. We can coexist and cooperate. Yeah, well, I exist. I I, 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 I agree. And not I exist, but I agree. While making content that we and our audiences enjoy. Exactly, yes. By the time this video goes live, the copyright claims will be lifted. So you know our feelings are genuine. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to capitalize on drama. Yeah, Hope I you agree. Have a lovely day. Bye. Nice. Oh, this was a great video. A uh, really good topic to talk about. I want to know what people think about this, especially in the comment section below. Follow Alex and Noella. They're like really on the rise when it comes to like the Wuthering Waves content stuff. And they're going to be making, they make a lot of good guide stuff too. So they're really close to 1K. I mean, I would really appreciate you go to their channel, uh, subscribe, you know, uh, watch the original video. I'm going to be linking that in the description below. So you guys could go follow, check that out. Let's see with all this stuff that's happening with these creators, especially the ones that are like faceless, you know, they're making content like this. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is fair? Do you think the guy that got the copyright strike, do you think he deserves it? He or she deserves it? Like, like there is a certain way to do this type of content and honestly you kind of have to just try to be as humble as possible and if it and people like the reaction or discussion from the content that you're making i'm kind of talking from my point of view too like i've been doing this for a while for a couple of months and people always show appreciation they really like the topics and i always credit them bro and it's not that hard to do it really isn't so uh i would like to hear your thoughts on that Guys, let me know in the comments section below. And um, yeah, see you guys soon.